In this video, I'm going to review an example of less than stellar student work on the warm-up and cool-down lap to help you be more successful on your attempt. I picked a real good one for you today. Um, this student, I'm not sure what happened here. My guess, this is my on-ground class. So my guess is that the student was uh, not coming to class, not coming to lab, and not reviewing anything that I posted to the interwebs. Don't be the student. Um, you can see I've got my normal setup here. Um, I'm blind. I don't know whose work I'm grading. Um, and I've got the lab open on this side and I've got the rubric open on this side. I'm just gonna go down and review each part one by one as to why this person did not do well. Um, uh, where to begin? Um, many, you'll notice that your template is a little bit different. Uh, this, my on-ground classes inspired me to make a big change in the way I was doing this because I didn't realize that students today don't know how to use spreadsheets. And so this, this is an example. Like I, my intention was that the students would put, um, well, my intention is that you will, oh, my intention is that you will put one exercise per line. Uh, if you go to my example that I recorded of uh, using myself as a client to create warm-ups and cool-downs, I think that's um, a good place to start. But uh, you can see from this example that this is like really hard to read and understand for me as the person grading it. Um, like I said, where to begin? I don't, I don't even know. You can see from the exercise type that, um, I mean, I really have to pour through here to say, so she said, or he said, hamstring, hip flexor, foam roll. Um, light intensity, I don't know what that means. Um, this needs to be mild discomfort um, for any sort of foam rolling. Um, time, duration, whatever, not that big a deal. Um, I'm looking for structure. Does the foam rolling come before the cardiovascular? And does the cardiovascular come before the static, uh, dynamic, ballistic, and neural activation? Um, I come down here, I see a brisk walk. Uh, for five minutes, but also you can jump rope. Um, this one gets me because I'm like, well, which one is it? Am I, you're supposed to be able to hand this to a client and they should be able to do it. So is this person going for a, a brisk walk or are they doing jump rope for five minutes? Also, um, I've got a real problem when people put uh, jump rope in the warm up, only because I feel like you need to be really, really fit to jump rope for five minutes and not die. Like, I can't imagine giving this to somebody who's brand new to exercising and just telling them to jump rope for five minutes. Oh my God, it's a good way to kill somebody. Um, so yeah, that would be like saying, oh, um, sprint at a light intensity. It's like, no, 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 no. By definition, that's an activity that's like very high intensity. So like, there's no way, there's no way. This like jumping rope at light intensity, no. Um, so don't, don't, don't make that error. Uh, this looks good, but it's like, just please be clear. Just tell me, tell me one exercise for how long, at what intensity. I don't need all of this writing. Um, either like, just tell me, I'm your client. I, I am, I am paying you to tell me what to do. So tell me what to do in no uncertain terms. Um, you make that decision. Um, th there's just like stuff written here that it's like totally unnecessary. I'm not going to mark off points for that, but you get the idea. Now we move in here to the static, dynamic, ballistic stretching and light exercises to prepare for activity. Um, so the first person, I think this person selected obviously one of these cases. I'd have to go down and see. A 38 year old. Yeah, so this is not a physically active person. And the first thing that I see here is that this person has prescribed ballistic stretching <laughs> for somebody who's not active. Um, I feel like a hammer home to everyone that ballistic stretching should be uh, reserved for power athletes, gymnasts, um, Olympic lifters, sprinters, people who need explosive movements. That's who should be doing ballistic stretching. Otherwise, it's just kind of dangerous for the regular person. Um, yeah, so bouncing at the end range of motion. That's basically what this person has prescribed for stretching. Doesn't say any body parts, doesn't say any stretches, doesn't say any positions, any, no muscles, no motions, nothing. And then um, basically just tells me to do neural activation, light exercises. Um, doesn't say any exercises, what to do, any equipment, 
any muscles to stretch or to to activate nothing just as can be in the form of warm-ups why I, I just don't i don't even know what, what i i have this makes me feel like i've not only failed as a teacher but as a human um then i come here light intensity i mean there it, it just should be line item um i'm doing this static stretch for this muscle at this intensity this many sets this many reps i mean i i really i just don't even know how this came into existence this is just very confusing to me um so obviously this person lost a lot of points <laughs> no stretches prescribed question mark um and then i come here and it's basically the same thing for the cool down i'm like questioning all of my life choices i don't know what i've done for this person to end up here um i i look at the parameters i'm looking for um this person to follow the guidelines so i'm looking for five minutes of um five to ten minutes of light to moderate intensity cardiovascular activity like walking jogging cycling something um 50 to 60 percent of heart rate max here i'm looking for an accumulation of one minute per stretch per side um I'm looking for two to four sets of um, 10 to 30 seconds, depending on how many sets you're prescribing with, like I said, accumulating 60 seconds. Um, I'm looking for mild discomfort here. Oh my gosh, guys, I have seen people write extreme discomfort and intensity for stretches. <laughs> oh, just thank God I have a therapist. All right. Um, same thing here for the cool down, just looking for all the ACSM parameters, mild discomfort, especially for the dynamic stretching, the dynamic stretching would be, you know, five to 10 reps. Um, for the uh, neural activation, I'm looking for um, endurance training parameters, which would be, I don't know, anything from one to four sets of 10 reps and above, something like that, just to get the muscle activated. Um, and then I feel like you guys have, have got the, the hang of these questions. I'm not going to really spend too much time here, but um, please just go through the materials, watch my videos, watch my examples, and don't be the student because you're, you just, these students are, are, are just running up my medical bills. <laughs> Good luck.